Hello guys, um, haven't made a video in a while, um, maybe it's been two weeks, I don't know if you could tell, there's quite a bit of new uh, growth in the hair and, uh, and the beard, anyway, um, yeah I've been slacking on the videos, um, even though I shouldn't be, because these are going to be very important um, for myself, I think, when I watch these in, in the future. Um, especially because these are like the beginning, the, big, the beginning times, basically. Excuse the no shirt. Um, I never wear a shirt when I'm at home, so deal with it um yeah so just wanted to check in um the last two days i don't know i have i've been feeling a little bit off like i was really gung-ho like happy for a big stretch there and uh that's probably why i wasn't making videos i tend to when i when i start feeling great and good i'm like oh everything's good i'm i'm feeling better and all right sweet um, and then I don't uh, work on myself as much and let meditation slack and yeah then I think the last what's happened in the last two days is a result of me sort of not keeping up my routines of meditation self-discovery uh, studying the things that I've learned etc but um, yeah, I just wanted to share a cool story from a couple of days ago. Um, I'm unemployed at the moment, so, um, you know, having some money would be helpful at the moment. But I'm actually not, like, actively trying to go crazy, trying to find a job. Um, I was going to take this time to work on myself. Um, I did have an interview with a company and they are going to hire me on for a, um, to work their booth at, uh, some conventions, um, which is cool, but, uh, they don't need me to start for like a, mm, yeah, a month and a half. So anyway, uh, yeah, so I did this meditation the other morning about, uh, inviting money into your life and, um, actually I did it at night. The next day, I did a uh, um, visualization on having money, and you know I acted like, or I tried to really feel and and think and uh, feel what emotions I've had, as if I already was rich and I already had money. Um, I just tried to tap into that as much as I could. Uh, then later that day, I think I went to the gym, did some stuff came back home and when I was going towards my uh, mailbox um, as I usually do as I go towards my mailbox I start thinking okay today's the day there's gonna be a million dollar check in there right but that's not really law of attraction when you know 10 steps away from the mailbox you start thinking about stuff like that so anyway on this day I thought oh Hopefully today's the day where there's a million dollar check in my um, mailbox. Um, and thinking, you know, it is possible today because I did those meditations. I open it and it, it was a check. Um, it wasn't a million dollar check. Uh, it was a fairly small amount of money. It was $50. But I haven't got a check in the mail for like, I don't know, a long time. Um, so, it, you know, it, it had to do with something that I forgot about a while ago that this money was coming to me. But, you know, it's like three months later and it was just neat how it happened on the day that, um, that I visualized uh, money coming to me. So I'll keep doing that, I guess. I don't know, it can't hurt. And 
you know, I've been reading countless things on uh, law of attraction and inviting money into your life and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just gonna face the light here. So, yeah, why not? Why not continue to do that, right? Um, what else? Yeah, and then I don't know. Today, I just I went to the gym and had a nice workout. I actually, um, just learned about uh, mind muscle connection. So. Pretty much for the last 20 years I've been working out and when I do, I, I just try to push the weights and get them up as much as I can. But I haven't been doing the mind-muscle connection. So, the, what this means, I'm sure a lot of you know what that is, but for those who don't, let's say you're working out biceps. Should I flex? No. Um, let's say you're working out biceps and you're doing a bicep curl if you have a fairly heavy weight and you're curling it, your your brain doesn't know that you're trying to work on your bicep. Your brain is just going to enact whatever muscles it needs to push the damn weight up there in the most efficient way. Because it it probably thinks, oh, the, you know, there's there's something something on me. There's a, a attacker on me. I got to get it off of me. So. I don't know, I heard that somewhere. That's a terrible analogy. But anyway, your body just wants to get it off the most efficient way possible. It wants to lift it the most efficient way. So in lifting a bicep curl, it might enact part of your shoulder and part of your forearm and part of your uh, back and part of your lower back and, and legs. Like the main part of your arm, but still, you're not really isolating and targeting your bicep, which you're trying to shape, right? So mind-muscle connection is when you're doing it, you're thinking about lifting it with your bicep, and then at the top, you squeeze it like you flex. So basically like you're just, like you're flexing your muscle. What that does, it really isolates the bicep and, and hones in on the bicep and really squeezes the muscle fibers and works it and tears them and it doesn't uh, use all these other things to help basically as an assistant to your bicep right so the biceps not getting maximum work so anyway uh, what the heck was I talking about yeah I did that at the gym for the past two days and I'm feeling pretty beat, so maybe like my mood in the last two days as well, because maybe my body's just like, whoa, what are you doing? But, um, yeah, so I thought that was cool. So I don't know, hopefully I get some results. I just got to keep the diet on point. Um, I'm a bit of a sugar, sugar freak, so I sometimes eat uh, more sugar than I should. Uh, I've been better lately, I've been trying to avoid chocolate and all that stuff, but uh if the opportunity presents itself for a chocolate to enter my mouth um it's hard for me to say no so i try not to keep it in the house but sometimes you're out and somebody offers you or you're at somebody's house and they have chocolates there and you know the drill but i definitely don't buy it um or i try not to so, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's make this video makes me feel a little more positive. Um, I know I've been slacking a bit, so I just need to get back on course. Because um, things were going pretty awesome. And I just knew, like, the way I was talking to people and telling people about, you know, introspective work and meditation and all that. Like, you could tell. I don't know. I had a passion about it. And I feel like these people were like, oh, tell me more. Tell me more. Like, I, f I feel like. They saw me and the way that I was talking and speaking and feeling, and they're like, I want that. I want I want what you're feeling. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna continue along that path. And uh, yeah, again, my life is, is amazing. I have to just affirm that to myself. Like, I have my health, I have my family, I have friends, which I don't see too much because I'm not drinking anymore but um i think this is an important time to uh put the friends aside 
and uh, I'll see them when I see them. Um, but at this point in time, it's really crucial that I uh, work on myself and um, try to become the best version of myself as I can and love myself and figure out what it is that I have to offer the world. And yeah, like I said, when I'm talking to people, I and I, I want to help people. I really want to like, I really want people to live an amazing, happy life and content and and a life devoid of fear and and negativity. Um, which is funny because that's what I'm trying to eliminate. But on the days where I feel positive and loving and amazing, um, I just want to spread that to everybody, and I just want everybody to feel good. Because um, life is short and uh, it sucks if you're always worried, if you're always, um, yeah, just living in fear and, and stuff. Like, we have, to, we have to love ourselves, we have to love each other, and um, yeah, Feliz Navidad. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I said that. Um, all right, well, uh, yeah, I'm glad I checked in, and um, I'll try to make uh, videos more often, and uh, if I can help anybody along my journey, I'm definitely going to, and uh, my mission is to make people feel better and show people how to feel better um, as I'm slowly trying to feel better myself. Because, I mean, no matter what, you, you're 